Ari's teaching of Islam can be creative and dynamic, but sometimes it plays safe. In this lesson, the teacher uses some British Muslim works of art to explore Muslim concepts of God with her 12-year-olds. She never gives them the answers, but keeps on provoking their own inquiring minds to think a little harder. The lesson begins by asking pupils to consider six Muslim quotations about Allah. Measure does not bind him, boundaries do not contain him. What do you think that means? I don't know how to explain it, it's confusing. But they fear what he can do to them, so they want to make their lives better. You know, but, um, yeah. it's respect as well, because they respect him for being Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. But they're scared of his power. Yeah, so fear and respect. Yeah, exactly. mm. The sort of base message is praise him, he is God, he is everything, and just worship him. Quality stimulus materials really matter. This work of art shows the 99 beautiful names of Allah in a geometric shape that folds over to resemble the Kaaba at Mecca. And this work of art shows the 99 names set in gold leaf so they seem like a mirror. Here you can see the artist Yasmin Katrada reflected in her own work. Ahmed Mater uses iron filings and a magnet to explore the idea of Allah as a fixed point in the centre of a human swirl. What things are similar and what things are different between these images? Okay, just start having a discussion. What can you notice that's similar and what can you notice that's different between them? Iron filings and the magnet. It's just something similar, um, simple but with like a really deep meaning behind it. Basically, it's saying that all the 99 names of Allah are in you and yeah. Allah is the creator of you. Yeah, so they're, they're quite similar to each other, really. They don't look it. They all show, like, lots of religion, even though it doesn't look like... Yeah, they just look like... I like the way this one folds up into that and makes, like, a heart. A heart yeah, they must be Pupils make judgments about these three works of art, recording their ideas in a Venn diagram. This discussion clarifies and sharpens their explanations of similarity and difference. So like this one manages to describe as Allah without using the words. Yeah. And because because the eye of the magnet attracts them, it, it moves them every single way, so it, it attracts the people to every single every single um every single way he moves. I love that one because of the fact that it is like some of them are standing up and it's like they're so close to Allah. It's a very them, strong message. And all of them then all it. of them link together as well. Yeah. What do you think is really good about her representation? Um, of God. You can see yourself in it, so you might feel like you're connecting with God and like all his faces. Excellent, well done. The 99 names um, represents like who God, how, who God is to some Muslims, how he's represented to them. And the woman represents, I think that it's like God hidden behind the name. So like the, um, the names is like a wall and then God's behind it so you can't really see him you can only like um, like believe in him and pray to him to make you feel closer to him no one knows what an Allah looks like and no one can see him so it's like he's trying to hide sort of hide his identity but at the same time he's trying to show his power because all the people are coming to him the findings are like the people who follow Allah because like if you move the magnet the um, iron findings will follow um, but if you remove the magnet from the circle, the iron filings would stay there as if, because like Ella is always there with you. Pupils bang on the desk, quietly or more loudly, as a form of voting. Which work of art do they like best? It's the magnet and iron filings one. Which one explains Muslim belief best? They go for Yasmin's gold leaf. about Ahmed Mustafa's image and would a Christian agree or disagree with this idea of God? I'd like you to think about it, all right, just for about a minute, okay, and then I would like you to share it with your partner, okay, and then we'll share as a whole class. I think atheists will probably just think it's like a magnet and the things that I have been rejected to. Because they probably won't try to put any religious meaning into it if they're an atheist. They, would, like, they wouldn't get to like, understand the meaning of it. Like, but when like Muslims look at it, they're like, oh yeah, like they would know what it represents. But um, yeah, I think there is 
both Christians and Muslims have the same sort of morals and I don't like I don't see why we couldn't be worshipping the same God.